Before explaining how I encrypt emails sent from my Gmail account, it's worth bearing in mind that Google does a pretty good job of this already. If you have a Gmail account, you can be safe in the knowledge that those emails sat in your inbox are encrypted while at rest and whilst traversing Google's network. The problems start to occur when you want to send an email to someone who doesn't use Gmail, which let's be honest, is probably quite often. And it becomes an issue because Google cannot control the encryption of your email once it has left their servers. Since 2018, Google has offered additional features for making email more secure. They call it Google Confidential, which gives you the ability to password protect email, set an expiry date for deletion, and prevent email from being forwarded. In effect, these emails do not leave Google's network. Instead, recipients receive a link to read the email in a viewer managed by Google. However, the recipient cannot respond to the email and you can't include attachments, so it isn't much of a solution. To be able to send encrypted emails and attachments from my Gmail account to anyone regardless of who they use as an email provider, I use a free Chrome plugin called Virtru. Virtru was founded by two brothers, John and Will Ackley one of whom worked as a security engineer for the NSA and the other was a privacy advisor at the White House. What I like about Virtru is that it integrates seamlessly into Gmail. It will encrypt the whole email, including any attachments, and you can set an expiry date and prevent forwarding. I can maintain ongoing control of my attachments through a feature known as persistent protection and it allows recipients to reply to my emails maintaining encryption for the life cycle of our conversation. What's more, it is completely free and it works on both mobile and desktop. I won't go through all the features in this video because there are many. I'll save that for a complete tutorial. However, I will show you how to get started so you can begin sending encrypted emails from your computer and mobile device. So let's jump into it. Start by opening your Chrome browser. It does need to be Chrome. Virtue will not work on any other browser. And then download and install the Virtue extension from the Chrome Web Store. Once installed, you can pin the extension and start by opening the dashboard from the icon menu. The dashboard is where you can administer all the emails and attachments you have sent out, which we'll explore later in the video. However, the one thing we can do immediately is to write a short introductory message, which is sent out as plain text with our emails. This acts to put the mind of your recipients at ease when they receive your encrypted messages. I like to add a sentence or two to let people know they are safe to continue. Having done that, we can go into Gmail, activate Virtue, and create a new encrypted message. Virtue automatically integrates with our Google account, and once installed, we can use Gmail in exactly the same way as we have done before. I'll click on Compose and you can see I now have an additional option to encrypt my message. Having enabled encryption, I'll add two recipients, one who is also using Virtue and the other who isn't. I'll draft my email as I would any other and then I'll click on Virtue settings icon to add additional security parameters. I'll enable all of these features to demonstrate how they work. The expiry defaults to one day, but you have the option of changing this. I'll also add a watermark to my attachments and turn on persistent protection. Having enabled these settings, I can now add attachments as per normal. I'll browse to my PDF sales report and you can see that Virtue adds the file in a TDF wrapper and creates a link. Once I'm happy, I'll hit send and Virtue will encrypt and send the email. From this point onwards, only the recipients of the email will be able to read it. We'll switch over to Herman's Gmail account who was one of the two recipients. And because he is using Virtue, Herman is able to read the decrypted email natively from within Gmail. Clicking on the attachment opens it up in a new tab using Virtue's secure viewer. 
If Herman wants to reply to my email, he can do so as per normal from within Gmail. I receive the reply and I can view the original email thread if I want to. Now let's look at what a recipient sees when they aren't using Virtu. Here we can see the email in Wilson's online Outlook account. Because Wilson doesn't have Virtu installed, he is provided with a link to the email and you can see the message we created at the start explaining that I'm using encrypted email. Clicking on the link will open the email in Virtu's secure viewer, similar to the attachment. Here you can reply to the message and open the attachment as before. You can see the watermark has been added and if I want I can download a copy of the file and save it locally. You can see it saves it in the same TDF wrapper and if I want to view the attachment again I simply need to click on it for it to open in the secure viewer. However because the attachment remains in this secure wrapper as the owner of the attachment, we can maintain control over its access from the Virtu dashboard. If we log back into the dashboard, I'll demonstrate how we can revoke both the email and the attachment at any time, rendering them inaccessible to anyone who has received them. Here you can see the email we just sent, and if I click on it, I can see the security features I implemented, who it was sent to, and I have the option to revoke it. Similarly, if I click on files from the menu, I can see all the attachments I have sent and I have a similar set of options. I can choose to revoke access to the attachment at any time, even if it is still within the expiry period. Having revoked access, if I now try to open the downloaded copy, it will ask for my credentials before confirming that access has been removed. To use Virtu on a mobile, you need to download the app from your app store. On mobile, Virtu operates in its own email client, albeit directly linked to your Gmail account. So you can send and receive all your Gmail messages directly from within the app. You will need to allow permission for Virtu to access all your email for the purpose of being able to encrypt, send and receive them. Once activated, you can start creating encrypted emails by clicking on the Compose button. Here I'll send another email to the same recipients as before, one who already has Virtu installed and the other who doesn't. I can choose to attach photos, videos or browse to other files. I'll attach this zipped project file, finish drafting my email and then hit send. My two recipients will receive my e email exactly as they did before when I sent it from my Gmail account on my computer. Herman is able to read it natively within Gmail because he has Virtu installed and once again Wilson will receive a link. So that is how to encrypt emails from your Gmail account on desktop and mobile. Before you go, if you are considering starting your own YouTube channel or you'd like to see how I create my videos, I have a free course on my website which I'll link to below. No gimmicks, it is completely free, so I recommend having a look at that. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you give me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, Thank you very much for watching.